Northampton Town FC Wikipedia article audio Northampton Town Football Club slash N R Theta A E M P T N T A N slash is a professional association football club based in the town of Northampton, Northamptonshire, England. The team play in League One, the third tier of English football. History Interwar period Rise and fall 1970s and 80s Early 1990s The Six Fields Era Club Crest and Colors Club Crest Shirt Sponsors and Manufacturers Records and Statistics Players Current Squad Out on Loan PFA Team of the Year Cult Heroes Board of Directors and Ownership Managers Current Management Team Managerial History Honors Stadiums County Ground Six Fields Footnotes Northampton were formed in 1897, after meetings between the town's school teachers and local solicitor A.J. Darnell. They play their home games at the 7,798 capacity All Cedar Six Fields Stadium, having moved in 1994 from the county ground which they shared with the owners, Northamptonshire County Cricket Club. The club's main traditional rivals are Peterborough United, a rivalry which has endured since the 1960s. Other rivals include Oxford United, Milton Keynes Dons, Rushton and Diamonds and Cambridge United. The club's colours have traditionally been claret and white. The club nickname is the Cobblers, a reference to the town's historical shoemaking industry. In 1919-20, the first season after the war, Town conceded a club record 103 goals. Nonetheless, the club was allowed to join the Football League for the following season, in Division 3. 1922-23 saw the club become a public company and 8,000 shares were released at one pound. The season produced a record crowd of 18,123 against Plymouth on Boxing Day and gate receipts for the first time exceeded £1,000. 1923-24 started with the club raising £5,000 to build a stand with a player's tunnel underneath and also improved terracing in the hotel end. The following season saw the formation of the Supporters Club. In 1925 the club's first foreign transfer took place as William Shaw was signed from Barcelona. A new ground record was set for the FA. Cup third round replay with Sunderland, 21,148 turned up to see the Cobblers lose 3-0. However, disaster occurred at the county ground during December 1929 when a fire destroyed three stands, with damage valued at around £5,000. Only one stand was saved although this was charred. The source of the fire was thought to be in the away dressing room, the cobblers had earlier entertained AFC Bournemouth reserves. By August 1930, the stands were rebuilt. In 1932-33, the club created history when brothers Fred and Albert Dawes both scored in an 8-0 win over Newport County. The latter finished the season scoring 32 league goals and even scored all four in a 4-0 win over the Netherlands national football team while the club was on tour. In 1933-34, the FA Cup fifth round was reached for the first time courtesy of a fourth round win away to Huddersfield Town who, at the time were top of Division 1. 
The Cobblers lost to Preston North End 4-0 at Deepdale, setting a new ground record of 40,180. In the three seasons prior to the breakout of World War II, the Cobblers finished 7th, 9th and 17th respectively in Division III. In the final match prior to the war, they travelled to Dean Court and lost 10-0, the club's record league defeat. During the war the Cobblers had the record for the first transfer fee received during the hostilities when Bobby King was sold to Wolverhampton Wanderers for a substantial four-figure fee. Northampton were promoted three times in the five years 1960-1965. Starting the 1960-61 season in the 4th Division, they reached the 1st Division in 1965-66, their only season ever in the top division of English football. They were then relegated back to the 4th Division over the next five years, playing in the bottom tier again in 1969-70. During their top flight season they earned a double against Aston Villa and victories at home over such luminaries as Leeds, Newcastle, West Ham and Blackburn, the latter being the only team Northampton would finish above in the table. In 1970, they lost 8-2 to Manchester United in the FA Cup fifth round. Six of the goals conceded were scored by George Best who received the match ball as a reward for his performance. For the first time since becoming a league side the club had to apply for re-election in 1971, they finished the most favoured club with 49 votes. In the 1974-75 season, future England international Phil Neal was sold, after 200 games in all competitions for the Cobblers, Liverpool bought Neil for a then club record of £65,000, whilst playing in the same side of another future England international, John Gregory. Finally during the 1975-76 season, the club finished second in Division 4 and were promoted behind champions Lincoln City. They did this without losing a home game and having every regular player scored during the season including the goalkeeper, Alan Starling, who netted from a penalty in the penultimate home game against Hartlepool United. In 1976-77, the club were relegated back to Division 4, the season started with ex-Manchester United assistant manager, Pat Crearand in charge, however he resigned in the new year. No new manager was appointed, Instead a committee was formed consisting of the chairman, the coach, and three senior players. Prior to the start of the 1979-80 season, George Riley was sold to Cambridge United for a then record of £165,000, he had been the club's top scorer for the previous two seasons. New floodlights were installed in time for the 1980-81 season, but they failed during the first match against South End United and the game had to be abandoned. The club struggled in the bottom half of the fourth division for the first half of the decade, however 16-year-old 80 man became the club's youngest player. In 1984-85, the lowest ever league attendance was recorded at the county ground where only 900 and 42 people turn up to watch the Cobblers lose 2-0 at home to Chester City, this was also the only ever league attendance under 1,000. In the same year, the club managed what seemed like a major coup when they appointed Tony Barton, who had won the European Cup with Aston Villa two years previously, as manager. Barton's only season in charge proved severely disappointing however, as the club were never outside the bottom two, and health problems forced Barton's resignation near the end of that season. Success was achieved under Barton's replacement, Graham Carr, who brought in several players from the non-league in addition to a number of quality league players to finish eighth in his first season in charge. 
The 1986-87 season saw Northampton win the 4th Division Championship, gaining a club record total of 99 points and scoring 103 goals, 29 of them to Richard Hill, who was transferred in the summer to Watford for a club record fee of £265,000. The club adjusted to life in Division 3 quickly and just missed out on a playoff place despite finishing sixth. Important players such as Trevor Morley and Eddie McGoldrick were sold and the team fell back down to Division 4 in the 1989-90 season. The 1990s began badly, with the club relegated to the fourth division at the end of the 1989-90 season. The following season began well as the club looked on course to return to the third division at the first attempt. They were top of the table in February, but fell away and finished mid-table. Things then got even worse and the club went into administration in April 1992, with debts of around £1.6 million. Ten players were sacked and youth players were drafted in to make up the numbers results did not improve. These events sparked the formation of the Northampton Town Supporters Trust, which has a shareholding in the club and a representative on the board of directors. This was the first such instance of a supporters trust taking over a football club. The club needed to win the final game of the 1992-93 season to avoid being relegated to the conference. Over 2,500 made the trip to Shrewsbury Town and saw the Cobblers win 3-2, despite being 2-0 down at halftime. The 1993-94 season got worse for the Cobblers as they finished bottom of the football league for the only time in the club's history. Relegation was only escaped due to the conference champions, Kidderminster Harriers, not meeting the necessary ground criteria. The club eventually began its move to six fields. Northampton Town started a new era when they moved to six fields stadium and there was a capacity crowd on October 15, 1994, when Barnet were the visitors in a 1-1 draw. Martin Aldridge, who later died in a car accident, was the first player to score at the new stadium. The change of ground did not change the club's fortunes and they finished 17th, despite being buoyed by Ian Atkins taking over as manager from John Barnwell halfway through the 1994-95 season. After two more seasons, in 1996-97, Atkins lead the Cobblers to Wembley for the first time in 100 years, where they beat Swansea City 1-0 in the playoff final in front of 46,804 of whom 32,000 were Northampton supporters. John Frayne scored the winning goal from a twice-taken free kick deep into injury time, adding to the club's centenary celebrations. The 1997-98 season also saw another Wembley playoff appearance, this time in the Division II playoff final, which was lost 1-0 to Grimsby Town in front of a then-record 62,998 crowd. Over 40,000 of the crowd were Northampton supporters, which was at the time a record for the most supporters taken to Wembley by one team. Surpassed by Millwall's 45,000 fans in the 2009 League One playoff final against Scunthorpe United. Northampton were not able to progress from the previous year's success because of long-term injuries to 16 of their players during the 1998-99 season. The team was relegated to Division Three, despite being not losing in the last nine games of the season. However, there were some promising results such as a 2-1 aggregate win over West Ham United in the League Cup. The 1999-2000 season saw the club bounce back to Division 2, finishing in the third automatic promotion spot. Ian Atkins left the club in October following a poor start to the season, 
his assistant, Kevin Wilson and coach Kevin Broadhurst took joint charge for the rest of the month. Wilson, the former Chelsea player, was appointed manager at the start of November, going on to win two Manager of the Month awards. The following season started promisingly, with players such as Marco Gabi Adonai and Jamie Forrester pushing the Cobblers towards a playoff place before the club eventually finished in 18th place due to a large number of injuries in the second half of the season. Kevin Wilson was sacked in November 2001 to make way for his assistant Kevin Broadhurst, who steered the Cobblers from relegation to a remarkable survival with a game to spare after losing only one home game from mid-January. The next season was the worst since the early 1990s, both financially and on the pitch. Early on they were forced into a Save Our Season campaign to keep afloat until the end of the year. It was required after the collapse of ITV Digital and much publicized takeover attempts by John Fashionu and Giovanni Di Stefano had failed and left the club with huge debts. They were taken over by a consortium run by Andrew Ellis, who sacked Broadhurst in January 2003, when Northampton were struggling at the foot of the division. He was briefly replaced by former England player Terry Fenwick who was sacked after a winless spell of seven games. This was, at the time, the eighth shortest managerial reign in English football history. Martin Wilkinson, the new manager lasted little longer, being dismissed in October 2003 in favour of former Scotland and Tottenham Hotspur defender Colin Calderwood. Calderwood led Northampton to the playoffs in his first season, where they were knocked out in the semi-finals by Mansfield Town after a penalty shootout. In the 2004-05 season, Northampton finished seventh, again in the playoffs, where they were defeated by Southend United. Following this, the manager made substantial changes to the squad bringing in experienced players such as Ian Taylor and Owen Jess, and they enjoyed a successful 2005-06 league season. On April 29, the Cobblers clinched promotion to Football League One, with a 1-0 win at home to Chester City. On May 30, 2006, Northampton announced that Calderwood was leaving to join Nottingham Forest as their new manager and he was replaced by John Gorman on June 5. On December 20, Gorman resigned due to personal issues with the side 18th in the table, with Ian Sampson and Jim Barron briefly taking care of first-team affairs. He was replaced by former Southampton boss Stuart Gray on January 2, 2007. The Cobblers were relegated from League One on the final day of the 2008-09 season, after suffering a 3-0 defeat away at Leeds United and other results went against them. Northampton caused an upset in the third round of the 2010-11 Football League Cup, knocking out Liverpool at Anfield. The game was drawn 2-2 after extra time and the Cobblers beat the team 69 places above them 4-2 on penalties, the winning penalty being scored by Abdul Osman at the cop end. Ian Sampson was sacked as manager on March 2, 2011 after a poor run of form saw the Cobblers fail to win in eight games and sit in a disappointing 16th position in League Two. Sampson's last game in charge was a 2-3 defeat against Burton Albion, the manner of this defeat ultimately costing him his job. Sampson's sacking brought to an end a 17-year association with Northampton, and his commitment to the club has guaranteed his status as a legend in fans' hearts. David Cardoza moved quickly and Gary Johnson was unveiled as the new manager on March 4, 2011. The appointment was greeted by unprecedented approval, 
so much so that Johnson stated his decision to join the club was partly down to the support for his appointment of a club forum. Somehow, however, things didn't go so well under Gary Johnson, the club slid further down the table in League Two and only just avoided relegation at the end of the 2010-11 season. The beginning of the 2011-12 season was no improvement for the Cobblers and the embarrassment was only further heightened after a loss to Luton Town on November 12, 2011 in the FA Cup first round. Gary Johnson left the club on November 14, 2011 by mutual consent. In December 2011 Northampton appointed ex-Watford manager Eddie Boothroyd as their new manager. After drafting in players such as Ben Harding, Luke Guttridge, and Clark Carlisle, Boothroyd managed to keep Northampton in the league and in the summer set about transforming the club into a club with promotion ambitions. He signed high-profile players such as Clive Platt, Alex Nichols, Chris Hackett, and Joe Widowson and made six fields a fortress in the opening months of the campaign. On May 18, 2013, Northampton reached the League Two playoff final losing 3-0 to Bradford City. After a poor start to the 2013-14 League Two season, Northampton found themselves at the foot of the table and as of December 21 they had only won four games. Boothroyd was subsequently sacked. From the start of the 2013-14 season, Northampton shared their six-field stadium with Coventry City with the West Midlands club going through a protracted dispute with the owners of their previous home, the Rico Arena in Coventry. On January 27, 2014, David Cardoza appointed former Oxford United manager Chris Wilder as the new manager of the club on a three-and-a-half-year deal. In October 2015 Herm Revenue and Customs issued the club with a winding-up petition over unpaid taxes. In February 2016, Northampton Town broke their club record of eight successive wins by beating Wickham Wanderers 1-0, extending the winning run to nine. The season was successful and resulted in promotion to League One on April 9. A draw at Exeter combined with Oxford United's defeat at home to Luton Town meant that they clinched the League Two Championship a week later on April 16. The Cobblers went on to play their first season in the third tier of English football since 2009. In the 2016-17 season, after a 5-0 defeat to Bristol Rovers, Rob Page was sacked and replaced with Justin Edinburgh. Northampton finished 16th, meaning that they would continue to play third-tier football. They made it to the third round of the EFL Cup, where they lost to Manchester United FC. They were unsuccessful in the FA Cup however, losing 1-0 to Storbridge FC in the second round. On June 26, 2017 a 60% stake in Northampton Town was purchased by Chinese company 5U Sport. The company indicated that they would invest in both the playing budget and stadium development. Although the investment was technically a takeover, Kelvin Thomas remained chairman and the two parties have acted in partnership since. On September 4, 2017, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank was appointed as manager on a three-year deal, replacing Justin Edinburgh who had been sacked after four losses from the start of the season. His first game was against Doncaster Rovers five days later, a home tie which ended in a 1-0 victory for Northampton Town. Northampton Town hold the record for the shortest time taken to be promoted from the bottom tier to the top tier and relegated back down to the bottom again, in the space of nine years. Tommy Fowler holds the record for Northampton Town appearances, 
having played 552 first-team matches between 1946 and 1961. Centre-half and former captain Ian Sampson comes second, with 449 games. The record for a goalkeeper is held by Peter Gleiser, with 412 appearances. Jack English is the club's top goalscorer with 143 goals in competitive matches between 1947 and 1959, having surpassed Teddy Bowen's total of 120. Bowen's record had stood since September 1931, when he overtook the total of 110 goals set by striker William Lockett in 1930. The highest attendance at the county ground of 24,523 was on March 9, 1965 in an important relegation battle in the first division against Fulham. It is unlikely that this record will be broken unless redevelopment takes place at six fields. The record attendance at six fields is 7,798 for an EFL Cup match against Manchester United on September 21, 2016. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. The following have been included in the PFA Team of the Year whilst playing for Northampton Town. The following were chosen by fans as the favourite club heroes in the BBC Sports Cult Heroes poll in 2006. Below is a list of all permanent managers of Northampton Town since its foundation in 1897. Northampton moved to the county ground in 1897, sharing it with Northamptonshire County Cricket Club from 1905. The main stand was situated alongside Abington Avenue and was a covered stand with seating to the rear and terracing to the front. The stand survived until 1985, but following the Bradford City Stadium fire, it was deemed unsafe and demolished, leaving only the terracing. This was then replaced by a small temporary stand nicknamed the Meccano Stand by fans. The other two stands were at the ends with the Spian Cop, which only reached the goalposts usually used for away supporters and the hotel and for the home supporters. In 1965-66, the only time that Northampton Town were in the top flight of English football, the county ground saw its highest attendance 24,523 against Fulham on April 23, 1966. The ground also saw Northampton's lowest ever attendance in the Football League, a crowd of 942 for the 1984-85 match against Chester City. The last game to be played at the ground was a 1-0 defeat by Mansfield Town on Tuesday, October 12, 1994. The club moved to Six Fields Stadium in 1994. It is a modern all-seater stadium with a capacity of 7,653 and award-winning disabled facilities. The stadium plan is simple with the west stand seating 4,000, opposite the smaller 1,000 capacity east stand known as the Alwyn Hargrave stand after the ex-borough councillor who helped the stadium become reality. At either end are identical stands that are the same height as the East Stand, the South Stand usually for away supporters. The North Stand is known as the Dave Bowen Stand, after the manager that took them from the bottom to the top flight of English football. Adjacent to the stadium joining onto the back of the East Stand with its own small stand is the training ground but its main purpose is for athletics for the local club rugby and Northampton. 
It also holds Northampton School's athletics finals.